Tony and Carmine Rosado are out. Out for good. Took what they had, started their own gangs. Took what we had? It's Hyman Roth in Florida. He's backing up those sons of bitches. The Rosados never had the Colleoni. And now what? They're taking over, taking hostages. Not without help. Not without Roth. Frank, Hyman Roth isn't a part of this. Mikey's right, Frank. The Rosado brothers always been angry. Ever since Clemenza died? No. No. That was no heart attack. In any case, that's the situation. We know they're running sanitation and construction, and we know Carmine's fixing fights. Yeah, and who's too? Ain't that Roth's game? And La Vegana? Junk? Dope? I want him dead! Frank! Frank Pentangeli, you've been loyal to this family for years. I know, Michael. But after Cuba, my business with Hyman Roth is very important. These accusations aren't fair to him or me. Fair? You give your loyalty to him before your own blood? Come on, Frankie. You know my father did business with Hyman Roth. He respected him. Your father did business with Hyman Roth. Your father respected Hyman Roth. But your father never trusted Hyman Roth. Are you through? Good. Dominic, stay focused on the Rosado brothers. Carmine's weak. Always has been. Send them a message. Prove to me that I was right about you. Dominic. Frank, I'm going to take care of Carmine Rosado. Let me deal with him. Of course you will. You're the boss, and Carmine's a Stugatz. Couldn't find his ass if he was sitting on his two hands. But that stupid bum's got half of New York. Don't that tell you something? That someone's pulling his strings? No. All it tells me is that Carmine's got some loyal men. Well, loyalty counts. For something. Even with the Rosado brothers. It means something to me too, Frank. I can't take on Carmine by myself. I need people. People that I can trust. Do you have any loyal button men that I could enlist? Sure, Dominic. I drove here with a few associates. They're good men. They've all earned their bones. I think they're ready to be made. You'd be doing one of them an honor if you choose to bring him into your family. family's only as strong as its weakest link. That's why I need someone good. I've heard good things about you, Dominic. You take care of you guys. So, what's your deal? What should I know about you? I'm kind of like a good, cheap wine. I get better with age, and I really pack a punch. All right. What are you best at? Arson's my thing. I like to burn stuff. I'll burn anything. Burn down a cop station once, if you can believe that. We gonna do some business? Welcome aboard. You're in. I'll guard the door. So let me ask you something. What Frank was saying earlier, do you believe it? About Mr. Roth and the Rosados? Nah, Frankie's a good enforcer, but he can't see things like Mike can. Mr. Roth's been good to us, always has been. Frank's a good man, but his temper can be a problem. These accusations about Hyman Roth have to stop. They're insulting to us both. I'll keep an eye on him. Don't worry. Good. Dominic, just remember to stay focused. You're boss now. Make a name for yourself. 
Let Carmine know that you run New York. Organized crime is like any other profession. The key to success is crushing the competition. This is your goal. Take over every racket and every business and eliminate any rival family who stands in your way. What's stopping you? The other families will ruthlessly defend their turf and try to take back places that you control. You can't stop them by yourself. If you want to win, expand your family, improve your crew member's skills, and hire guards to protect your territory. And most importantly, learn to use the bonuses you'll earn from controlling crime rings. Do this, and you'll know what it means to be called the Don. Stand so close. With my luck, someone aiming for you it will hit knock me. off one of Carmine's rackets. It'll break his hold on the cops. Let's take Carmine where it'll hurt the most. His brothels. Those damn whorehouses are giving him too much influence. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the cat house, the one fronted by that big room. The key to success is intimidation. A dead man is useless to us, but turn up the pressure and you'll have the upper hand. Everyone's got two points, the point that he'll break and the point he'll fight back. Pressure a man past his breaking point and he'll do whatever you want. Getting him there takes some creativity. Throw him around maybe, show him the view. And with some men, the more you push them, the more you'll profit. Or you can find their weak spot. Everyone's got one. Push someone too far, though, and you'll have a fight on your hands. Or worse, a dead body. But this isn't the end of the world. You can leave and try again later. Stop right there. Turn up the pressure, Dominic, but don't kill him. We need him alive. All right. You gonna let me through? Hell no, this joint's private. What's it gonna be? What's that? We can't hear you. That fucking does it. It's gonna hurt bad when you land. How's your head? You're mine. Next round's on me, okay? You missed. Don't. I, I surrender. Open the goddamn door before I put a boot up your ass. Fine. You want in? Go ahead. You can stop this. Just say the word. You bitch. You shithead. Whoa, fuck, here he is. looking smoking hot right now. Yeah. What is this, man? Well, Jim. deal you got with these guys. This place belongs to me now, understand? All right, you want this place, it's yours. The lifeblood of organized crime is our rackets. Rackets are where we make most of our money. Control one and it'll pay you every day. But each racket is part of a bigger business. We call this a crime ring. There are all kinds of crime rings out there. 
prostitution, gun smuggling, chop shops, and each one is made up of two or more rackets. Whoever controls every racket in the crime ring is gonna be flush with cash. But more importantly, they'll receive a special bonus like bulletproof vests or armored cars. These bonuses are key to building an empire. You know this and your enemies know this. So don't expect them to cooperate next time you pay them a visit. Pussy here ain't bad, but if I was running the place, it'd be making ten times what it's pulling in now. It's got potential, like you. You're real boss material, Dominic. What's your next move? I want to bring in more income, keep this place guarded, and take Carmine down a few notches while I'm at it. That's a good plan. Yeah, be an earner. Best bet is to launder some money through a legit business. A bar, a restaurant, a whatever. Cut a deal with the shopkeeper. He'll throw a little your way, and you'll get a bigger cut from your rackets. You worked with the Rosado brothers back in Clemenza's day. What do you know about them? They used to be friendly to us, but Tony always thought he deserved more. Him turning, I can understand, but Carmine, he's a stupid fuck. Must be out of his mind if he thinks he can be a Don. Anything else you can tell me? Sure, but keep this between you and me. I don't like what's happened to this city. I work with Don Vito, I work with Clemenza, and I don't have to tell you they deserve respect. But it's like these last 10 years, they don't mean nothing. My gang's across the bridge, scraping by, and the families here recruit scum. They recruit filth. They got no respect for how we do business. It ain't right. Extortion used to be an enforcer's game hitting up merchants for spare change. Today, the stakes are higher. You already know the basics. Find the small store and rough up the owner. To pay you what he can, it's not much, but every little bit counts. Here's the important part, though. Once you control a place, it acts as a front. Fronts can launder money earned from your rackets. Each one you control gives you a bonus to your entire income. To get a merchant to play along, you gotta pressure him. Slam him into a wall, throw him through a window. Maybe smash up his store or rough up his customers. Sometimes you have to show him who's boss. Just remember, it's only business. 